in my group, in my lab, we have started the program a few years ago to try to look for means, techniques, develop techniques that are based on using lasers and nanotechnology or just lasers um, to detect early signs of cancers, very, very early. We have decided also to look into a cancer that is known as a silent killer, and that's the ovarian cancer. Um, so, and, and there are reasons for that. One of them is that actually if, if, if ovarian cancer is detected early, in 95% of the cases it can be cured. The problem is to detect it early. So our technique is to actually look for blood, take blood, and do some optical analysis with lasers. So one of the techniques, not just the, one of the techniques that we use for this is called LIPS. And LIPS is, you know, we're going to burn a little bit of the, of the, of the blood with a laser, and then we learn from it if it has or it doesn't have uh, cancer. So that, very, very early. And we've been successful in getting some good results, as you may or may not know, that, that, that approach has been, um, uh, showed promise to the point where actually we had a company that was interested and we licensed it. So, we're still working on it. LIPS, this, this optical technology that we developed for this, is the same technology that's on Mars. So the mathematical methods to analyze what's on Mars and to analyze what we're doing for, for, uh, for cancer, we're going to learn from each other. We're going to learn a lot from Mars on what we, you know, in terms of analysis and how we're going to analyze the blood. And that's how we're going to take from one technology or from one area of research, bring it to the cancer research, so then we can go in, into, into uh, detecting cancers uh, as we move forward. We've done it for ovarian cancer. We're still doing it for ovarian cancer. We've got some success rate that we want to improve. We're about 84%, 85%. Same thing with prostate cancer. We're doing it right now, prostate. And other cancers. As physicists, it really doesn't matter what type of cancer it is, provided we can show that the approach works, then we can move it to, to other cancers.